Hello little learners how is it going I hope everything is going well good fine and you all are enjoying video lessons Oh yes so today we will be going to do chapter number 24 comprehension and I would like to welcome all of you to your online english video lessons This is the Shita ma'am and we are going to have fun today So are you all ready? So what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Open chapter number 24 and let's start with the comprehension topic. So comprehension page number 98. So little learners, what are comprehensions? Comprehensions hum kab se karte aa rahe hain? काफ़ी टाइम से हम कॉम्प्रीहेंशन इंग्लिश में करते आ रहे हैं बहुत सारे पैसेजेस होते हैं जिसके हमें आंसर्स ढूंढने होते हैं वी हैव टू गिव द आंसर्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द कॉम्प्रीहेंशन इट मे बी अ पोएम और इट मे बी अ पैराग्राफ और राइट एंड द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेसन इज बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस टॉपिक लिटिल लर्नर्स यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द पैसेज और पोएम then solve vocabulary questions on the passage or the poem then you will also be able to solve grammar related questions yes that's why this chapter is given in your grammar textbook you will also be able to solve the grammar related questions of the passage to jin bhi bachcho ko कॉम्प्रीहेंशन के टाइम पे अनसीन पैसेज या सीन पैसेज के टाइम पे ग्रामर क्वेश्चन के आंसर्स देने में डिफिकल्टी होती है सो दिस वीडियो इज स्पेशली फॉर दैम एंड लुक इट केयरफुली अंडरस्टैंड इट केयरफुली एंड इफ यू हैव डाउट यू कैन एस्क मी कम ऑन लेट स्टार्ट देन कॉम्प्रीहेंशन कॉम्प्रीहेंशन क्या है कॉम्प्रीहेंशन इज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ रिटर्न टेक्सट स कॉम्प्रीहेंशन जो है वो एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ रिटर्न वर्क है अ कॉम्प्रीहेंशन यूजली कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ पैसेज एंड क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द गिवन पैसेज नाउ कॉम्प्रीहेंशन कैन बी कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ पोएम और अ प्रोस एक्सट्रैक्ट नाउ रिमेंबर लिटिल लर्नर्स द रीडर मस्ट एक्यूरेटली अंडरस्टैंड the written material in order to answer the question in a comprehension 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 is very important and can be used to develop one's reading and writing skills to expand one's vocabulary to help one's grasp information The study of the art of comprehension enable one to comprehend the main content in the passage and to answer the question that follows the concerned passage. So little learners comprehension is important for us to read to learn and to give the answers as it develop one's reading and writing skills. It also expand one's vocabulary. It also help one grasp information we know that a comprehension consists of a passage or a poem and a set of questions based on this passage or poem in order to fully understand the given passage and answer the question accurately we must follow certain guidelines and the guidelines are firstly we should always read the passage once in order to understand the gist of the passage yani hame sabse pehle passage ko acche se read karna chahiye and understand karna chahiye ki passage kya bolna cha raha hai hame okay we must understand and read the passage once then the second guideline for you is read the passage for a second time and identify the essential points we have to read the passage second time for identification of the essential points then we must study the set of questions thoroughly the third guideline is you must have to study the set of questions thoroughly then the next is refer to each questions and locate the answers in the passage 
we must refer to the questions and then locate the answers wherever they are suitable then usually the questions appears in chronological order what is the meaning of chronological bachcho to iska matlab hai ki answers jo hai wo starting ke lines mein hi diye honge to aapko sabse pehle acche se questions ko read karna hai then lines read karni hai one more time so that aapko wo answers easily mil jaye all right and the last questions based on the last paragraph or from the middle of the paragraph answers would be uh, depend ke last paragraph mein se bhi ho sakta hai middle of the paragraph mein se bhi ho sakta hai lekin starting ke jo answers hai wo kis mein hote hain bachcho yes it is in the starting first of the paragraph so it's a chronological order or sometime it depends कि किस तरीके से पैसेज राइटर ने पैसेज लिखा है बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम क्वेश्चंस अपेयर्स इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर ओनली नाउ आंसर्स आंसर द क्वेश्चंस इन योर ओन वर्ड्स यूजिंग कीवर्ड्स फ्रॉम द पैसेज और द क्वेश्चंस इफ नेसेसरी देन द आंसर शुड बी रिटर्न इन द सेम टेंस in which the question has been asked irrespective of the tense in the passage then since a comprehension is a test of one's reading and writing skills every person approaches a passage or a poem from a different perspective thus the answers are subjective if the passage has to be given a title सिलेक्ट अ टाइटल बेस्ड ऑन द मेन आइडिया अगर पैसेज में आपको टाइटल के बारे में पूछा है सो यू मस्ट सिलेक्ट द टाइटल बेस्ड ऑन द मेन आइडिया मेन इवेंट और मेन कैरेक्टर देन वन वट टू से वन सजेशन फ्रॉम माई साइड इज अवॉइड स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक एंड डोंट मेक पंचुएशन एर वेल सॉल्विंग अ कॉम्प्रीहेंशन then always cross check the answers with the question and the passage itself so this was the guidelines the answer guidelines and what is comprehension it was about what is comprehension what are the guidelines and what are the how you can write the answers of the comprehension so it was a small conversation of it now let's try to solve the first comprehension that is aunt lily's pat first as i told you that we are going to read the comprehension and then we are going to read the questions and then again we are going to select the main points and then we are going to do the questions answers of the comprehension come on so let's begin aunt lily's pat Some people have cats as pet others have dog but aunt lily is a little different she has two hands one is called polly and the other is called molly polly and molly live in a shed at the back of aunt lily's house they eat special food that aunt lily get for them they love to catch bugs in the garden they sometimes pull out worms from the ground to eat polly and molly love aunt lily they give her eggs to eat polly and molly are aunt lily's special pets Now little learners if you have noticed while reading wherever there is a full stop or any other punctuation mark i put a pause we should always put a pause where there is a full stop where there is an exclamation mark all right or where there is any other punctuation mark and for apostrophe i used to read it like lily's house All right, तो हम एस 
एपोस्ट्रोफी एस वाले वर्ड्स को कैसे रीड करते हैं लिलीज हाउस बिलोंगिंग्स इट शोज द बिलोंगिंग्स नाउ लेट लर्नर्स लेट ट्राई टू फाइंड इट आउट द मेन पॉइंट सम पीपल हैव कैट एज पैट कुछ लोगों के पास कैट एज अ पैट होती है अदर्स हैव डॉग बट आंट लिली इज लिटिल डिफरेंट शी हैज टू हैंड्स यस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट शी हैज टू हैंड्स वन इज कॉल्ड पोली एंड द अदर इज कॉल्ड मोली ये इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स हो सकते हैं यस वाई बिकॉज इनसे रिलेटेड नीचे क्वेश्चन हो सकते हैं नाउ लेट सी द नेक्स्ट वन पोली एंड मोली लिव इन अ शेड पोली एंड मोली लिव इन अ शेड एट द बैक ऑफ आंट लीलीज हाउस दे ईट स्पेशल फूड दैट आंट लीली गेट फॉर दैम गैस वो क्या खाते थे स्पेशल फूड जो आंट लीली उनके लिए लेकर आती थी शी लव दे लव टू कैच बर्ग्स इन द गार्डन लेट इज अंडरलाइन इट क्या पता है इससे रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन होनी चाहिए देन दे समाइम पुल आउट वॉम फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड पोली एंड मोली लव आंट लीली दे गिव हर एग्स टू ईट दे गिव हर एग्स टू ईट देन पोली एंड मोली आर आंट स्पेशल पैट कम ऑन लेट इज फाइंड आउट द आंसर्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नाउ हमने इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फाइंड आउट कर लिए फिर हमने अच्छे से रीड भी कर लिया पैसेज अब हम क्वेश्चन रीड करेंगे देन एक और बार पैसेज को रीड करेंगे ऑल राइट कम ऑन चूज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स आंट लिली हैज डैश पैट्स हाउ मेनी पैट्स हियर वी हैड अंडरलाइन लुक two hands very good so please tick two and write it down t w o two then aunt lily's pet are called molly and dolly no polly and molly very good so please tick the next one second point and we will write here polly and Molly, very good. Polly and Molly. Now the next one. Now the next question. The hens live in dash. तो hens कहाँ पर रहते थे? Shed. Very good. Tick and write it down. S H E D. Shed. Now let's see the next question in next page page number 99 They sometimes pull out dash from the ground wo kabhi kabhi kya pull out karte the abhi humne thode der pehle hi read out kiya worms very good little learners see worms they pull they sometimes pull out worms from the ground to eat so take the first one worms and write it down w o r m s now question number 2 read the questions and complete the answers what food does aunt lily give for get for her pets तो वट फूड डज आंट लिली गेट फॉर हर पैट्स यस आंट लिली गेट्स स्पेशल फूड फॉर हर पैट राइट इट डाउन एस पी ई सी आई ए एल स्पेशल एंड देन वट डू पोली एंड मोली लव टू डू इन द गार्डन तो पोली एंड मोली लव टू कैच बर्ग्स इन द गार्डन राइट इट डाउन सी ए टी सी एच कैच बी यू जी एस बर्ग्स इन द गार्डन नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन वट डू पोली एंड मोली गेव आंट लीली तो पोली एंड मोली गेव 
aunt lily eggs to eat write it down e double g is eggs t o 2 eat so as you have noticed that all our questions answers were from the passage itself so it's a very easy concept little learners agar aap ise bahut acche se samjhoge to aapke liye seen aur unseen passages bahut easy ho jayenge karna all right come on let's try to do the next one the next passage is all about trees the trees are useful to us in many ways they gives us two very important things and what are they fresh air and food tree help in making the air we breathe clean and healthy various fruits and vegetables come from trees we get apples orange bananas drumsticks peas and lots more trees are home to birds and insects the wood from tree is used to make important things like bed, cupboard, boat and even houses. Paper, rubber and many medicines are also made using different parts of the trees. On hot days, people sit under the shade of the tree to take rest. Trees have many different parts. Some of these are roots, leaves, branches and a strong trunk. The trunk provides shape and help the tree stand. We must take care of trees around us and plant more trees. So little learners, we have learned the importance of tree. Then what does the tree give us? We have learned the tree. कितनी हेल्पफुल है ट्रीज लाइक ट्रीज बर्ड्स एंड इंसेक्ट का होम है ट्रीज हमें बहुत सारी वेरियस मेडिसिन देती है बहुत सारे यूजेस में हम ट्री का यूज करते हैं सो ट्रीज के इम्पोर्टेंस के बारे में हमने इस पैसेज के थ्रू समझा कम ऑन नॉट ऑन द पेज कम टू पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड देन वी अगेन कम टू द पैसेज Page number 100. Write T for true and F for false statement. A tree has no branches. क्या हमने ऐसा कुछ रीड किया था आगे चलो पहले हम क्वेश्चन रीड कर लेते हैं सारे देन वी विल राइट द आंसर देन ट्री मेक्स द एयर वी ब्रीथ क्लीन ट्रीज आर नॉट यूजफुल टू अस बर्ड्स लिव ऑन ट्रीज The leaves are used to make beds. Hmm, इसमें बहुत सारे false statement भी है और बहुत सारे true statement भी है जो हमें confuse कर रहे हैं चलो passage फिर से read कर लेते हैं और अगर इनसे related topics या कोई lines हमें मिले we will underline it. Now again come to page number 99 and let's read the passage one more time. This is what happens with you during your exam times. Exam times में भी आप confuse हो जाते हो और आप passage दुबारा read नहीं करते हो और आप अपने मन से true false लिख देते हो या tick the correct कर देते हो जिससे कभी कभी आपके questions के जो answers है वो incorrect हो जाते हैं बच्चों तो come on let us read the passage one more time. Trees are useful to us in many ways. They gives us two very important things, fresh air and food. Trees helps in making air. See this line? Trees helps in making air. We breathe. What? Clean and healthy and also fresh. Fresh also. Then various fruits and vegetables comes from tree. We get apple, orange, banana, drumstick, drumsticks, peas and lots more. Trees are homes for birds and insects. The wood 
the wood from trees is used to make important things like bed cupboard boats even houses to wood se banta hai bed na ki leaves se okay then let's see the next passage paragraph of the passage trees have many different parts बहुत सारे पार्ट्स होते हैं ट्री के लाइक सम ऑफ दीज आर रूट्स लीव्स ब्रांचेस एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग ट्रंक द ट्रंक प्रोवाइड शेप एंड हेल्प द ट्री टू स्टैंड यस दिस पॉइंट कैन हेल्प अस इन राइटिंग द आंसर्स वी मस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ द ट्रीज अराउंड अस एंड प्लांट मोर एंड मोर ट्रीज Come on now come to the page number 100 and let's see the answers now Page number 100 true and false statement A tree has no branches as humne read kiya tha no so we will write false write it down f for false and trees makes the air we breathe clean yes tree makes the air we breathe clean the trees are not useful to us trees hamare liye useful nahi hai trees hamare liye bahut useful hai so it's a false statement write it down f for false then birds lives on tree yes birds and insect both lives on tree then the leaves are used to make bed kya leaves se bed bante hain no wood se bante hain so write it down f for false now come to fourth question complete the paragraph using appropriate word let's try to solve it trees are dash to us in many ways so trees are useful write it down useful u s e f u l useful trees are useful to us in many ways they gives us dash to eat wo hame kya dete hain food very good wo hame food dete hain so we will write f double o d food food to eat now the wood the wood from tree is used to make bed table and chairs then trees are the home of kiska home tha birds and kiska home hai birds and insect i n s e c t s insects all right now on on dash day people sit under the shade of the trees kaise days pe people baithte hain trees ke niche sunny days or we can write hot days so we will write h o t hot hot days on hot days people sit under the tree Very good little learners this is how we had completed our second passage as well now come to the third passage passage number 3 a day in the life of jay a day in the life of jay hi i am jay today i woke up early so my fa- so father took me to the market to buy fruits and vegetables on our way back we stopped at the post office to mail a letter i came back and got ready for school i was waiting at the bus stop but the bus was late my best friend ritu did not come to school today her grandmother was sick so they took her to the hospital i missed her in school 
Come to the next paragraph, page number 101 of the same passage. See here, there is one more passage. One more paragraph of the same passage. I came home and finished my, and finished my homework. Then I went to the park to play. I rode the slide and the swing. In the evening, my mother went to the cinema to watch a film. I wanted to go out too. So mother and father took me to a restaurant for dinner. We had tasty food there. Now it's time to sleep. Good night. So it's a day life of Jai. Jai apne din ke baare mein hume bata raha hai ki uske saath kya kya hua. Alright. And let's see the tick the correct answer. Tick the correct answer. Jai went to the market with his stash. Jai market mein kis ke saath gaya tha? Father ke saath. Very good. So this passage is your homework. Okay. Tick and write it down homework. We are discussing it right now. And it's your homework. The school bus arrived late or early. School bus kaise aai thi? Late aai thi? Ya early a gai thi? Late. Very good. Jai, Jai's best friend is Ritu. Very good. Huh? Now in the park Jai rode the Jai wrote the slide and swing. Now come to the next question. Question number 6. Jai went to different places and did an activity at each place. Complete this above. Complete this table about the activities he did. Kon kon se activities usne ki thi? So Jai brought fruits and vegetables here. So Jai kaha se fruits or vegetables lekar aya tha? Very good little learners. He brought fruits and vegetables from market. So we will write here market. M-A-R-K-E-T market. This exercise portion is your homework. Aur ye hum abhi karwa dete hain. Alright. Now, post office. So, post office is so what activity ki thi? Hmm? He mailed a letter here. Very good. So, write it down. Jai waited for the bus here. Jai kaha par wait kara tha bus ke liye? Bus stop. Very good. And then, park. So, park mein wo kya karne gaya tha? He went... He went here to play. Yes, and it's a place. Park. Now, he missed his best friend Ritu here. Usne apni best friend Ritu ko kaha par miss kiya tha? School pe. Then restaurant. To Jai had tasty food here. In restaurant. This is how we had completed our exercise number. 6 of passage 3 and question number 1 it means question number 5 of passage number 3 is your homework ok read the passage and then answer the questions carefully alright so little learners that's all for today I hope that you all understood the concept of comprehension nicely and you all enjoyed today's session and and that's all for today. Tomorrow we will be coming to a new topic. The last chapter of our grammar textbook. That is composition chapter number 25. Till then take care. Keep studying. Keep reading new books. And that's all for today. Bye. Take care. Thank you.